the Lover's Bridge of Magpies. Welcome to the Lover's Bridge of Magpies, our musical celebration of Chinese Valentine's Day, Cici Jie. Tonight, we wish to share the romance of one of China's oldest and most famous folk tales through music. Our story begins in the heavens, a realm where the gods pass their time with grand plans for earth and appreciating all things beautiful, poetry, music, the movement of light as it passes from night to day. In a corner of this heavenly kingdom, a small group of celestial women sit together weaving new stars and galaxies. Their careful threading, stitching, and embroidering of space spins out across the skies. Their fingers are nimble, and their skills ensure that heaven is always vast and vivid at night, able to inspire awe from all who live beneath the sky. One such weaver girl, is an important character for us to get to know this evening. Ji Nu has been a weaver for so long that she stopped counting the decades passing by. She is a lively young woman and likes to have fun. The weavers only weave stars at night and they rest by day in the bright light of the sun. But Ji Nu finds it hard to rest She's too curious about what happens in the mortal world below the heavens and spends the days watching people go about their everyday business on earth. She leans down from the heavens and strains to hear their conversations. Most often she can feel their emotions, joy, frustration, desire, shame. Over the last few hundred years, Jinu has grown weary of weaving and bored with her heavenly life. She's young by heavenly standards. She wants to meet new people and to try new things. One morning, after a night weaving a tiny belt of stars, Jinu makes up her mind. As soon as her fellow weavers settle on the clouds to sleep, She'll slip down to earth for the day and be among the mortals she watched from afar. When the sun starts to climb in the sky and the other weavers are fast asleep, she knew floats down to earth. No one notices she has left. She finds herself on a riverbank, a place she had often admired from above and sets about exploring. beside a particular curve in the riverbank. He works hard and insists on making sure that his oxen are safe, well-fed and comfortable. Each day, he walks with the oxen to a different part of the river so as not to overgraze the land. <coughs> Mission or a function, the 
ist Papagilosig, wo so ein Sander Deutschland versehlich kai für mich, wo selig kai für mich, er selig kai für mich. Schmeckt der Getränk und Messer, da könnte ich Füße nicht messen. Des Lebens auf Reise mich freut und wie immer ließ ich uns heimer, dann könnte ich mit Füßen mich messen. Des Lebens auf Reise mich freut und wie immer ließ ich uns heimer, mich ließ ich uns heimer, mich ließ ich uns heimer. He loves to fall asleep gazing at the constellations above him and watching out for shooting stars. He appreciates small and simple things, fine weather, a full stomach, and the good health to continue his work. Towards the end of one particular day, Neolang is herding the oxen towards a place they often spend the night. The sun will soon set and he is looking forward to a swim before settling down for the evening. Ahead of him, he can see a figure walking towards him. It is rare to see other people in this part of the countryside. As the figure approaches, he realizes it is a woman, and this is not just any woman, but a woman so full of spirit that she almost shines let us see what happens when they meet on the riverbank.
the day they first met beside the river. After many years, the nagging doubt, 
that she will be discovered fades from Jinu's mind and she lives happily with her family. more slowly than on earth. It has taken some years for the gods to realize that one of their weavers is missing. They search the world for Jinu and are incandescent with rage once they find that not only had she defied her destiny and come to earth, but she has settled into life with a mortal. How dare she reject the heavens? How could she find contentment with a man on earth? The gods know that they have to act fast to show the other heavenly bodies that Jinu will be severely punished. But what can they do? Killing either or both of them is out of the question. But they need to ensure the lovers suffer. <laughs> Oh. 
side of the Milky Way, where she will weave stars again, alone. For Niu Lang, they make him a star and force him to live on the opposite side of the Milky Way, to be separated from his love for eternity. devastation. of an idea. The compassionate magpies agree that one night they will all come together 
and fly to the edge of the atmosphere. There they'll use their wings to form a bridge from one side of the Milky Way to the other, allowing the lovers to walk across and meet each other for one night. By daybreak, the magpies must return to Earth and the lovers are separated once more. they agree that they wish to help the lovers once a year and so will come together on the seventh day of the seventh month in the lunar calendar to reunite them and keep their love alive. allow the romance of Yinu and Niolang to continue. I see. 
party drink When we all together dancing cheek to cheek And the moment is half as much.